Hello my lovely viewers, Humano IT here. Have you ever wondered if the Intel XTU is any better or as good as Throttle Start? Now I downgraded to Windows 10 since Intel XTU didn't work with Windows 11. Let's use the exact same settings from Throttle Stop in Intel XTU. Let's open up both programs. Let's go down to Advanced Tuning. This is the main under slash overclocking window in the Intel XTU. So, and I believe it looks like that Intel XTU has already taken the throttle stop settings. Let's open the FIVR window on throttle stop and let's check the settings. Mm, it's actually 150. So let's go to 150. Processor IC max, we want to put it to unlimited. 100. 30 watts. Well, I actually prefer 125 watts. 125 watts. Let's also choose 125 watts in the Intel XTU. 44, 44, 37, 38. Let's go down to 37. This is good too. Don't need to go overboard. This looks good too. 146, it should be 150. 150 here, 150 here. So and I believe this is the last setting. Yes, it is. So click apply and hopefully the PC won't crash. Click apply and it looks good. To test these settings, we will use Cinebench R23. So and after the benchmark, I will do the same with Throttle Stop just to see the differences between both both programs and if there is a difference we can see by how much start power limit throttling this is the PL1 and PL2 which we have set to 125 so the temperatures are okay no throttling or whatsoever Core frequency is at 4.32. We set it to 4.4. Okay. It's 18,710 points. Let's do the exact same benchmark with all stop fire up all stop before i turn it on i would like to kick out the Intel XTU from the task manager um, this entry this XU service is actually used by the Alienware command center so we don't want to delete this one so this one stays is there anything that we can kick out no I need OBS Studio. Cineband. Okay. This looks good to go. Let's see. We only have 106 processes running in the background. So close this one. Turn it on. Save. Let's see. Yeah, I don't need to go through the settings because we have already done this. GPR 125. Good. Let's go. 18,710 and I can tell by now how the temperatures are and how the multiplier is acting out that we will have a higher score than 18,710 I firmly believe that Throttle Stop has much better hardware implementation and more headroom in overclocking and undervolting capabilities. You also have much more freedom to customize everything that you want. So this is a big plus for me.
let's run it again. It also has a much nicer interface. You can actually see all cores, and by that I mean each temperature of the core. In the interaction, on the other hand, you can only see the mean temperature of all cores. I mean, you could add all cores also, but then it becomes too confusing because you have this stupid graph which doesn't say anything for me. And you see, it's really steady. Let's try it again. 19,000 the first time and it will probably be also 19,000 the third time. Without screen recording, I don't know if you have seen the latest short which I have uploaded, I got 20,000 points. So if you customize this laptop the right way, you will get a very good performance. And I should mention that I downgraded to Windows 10 because Intel XTU wouldn't work with Windows 11. You see 19,000 points again. If you like this video or if you have any kind of questions regarding the Intel XTU or throttle stop, write it down in the comments and I will usually reply as soon as possible to your request. And thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.